just in time for the train to leave. Uh, good morning. I'm here at the Helix Tower, which is part of the M Quartier. And what I realized is that in the last couple of years, I made many, many videos about new shopping malls. And for that, I almost forgot about the beautiful malls that we already have. So today I'm gonna make a special about the M Quartier and the Helix Quarter here. And just give you an update. This used to be a restaurant, but this is now a co-working space. And this building actually has some of the best views in Bangkok and it's absolutely for free. We are here at the Prompong BTS station and you can actually walk straight from the station into the shopping mall and look at this. You have this circular restaurant area where you can just walk down and uh, at the end you even have a nice garden with a Starbucks, so uh, let me bring you there. The shops here at the top floors almost all closed. This is one of the negative effects of having all these new shopping malls. And as you can see, there's nobody here. It is around 11.45. We have these escalators that you can use. The easiest way to go up here is just take the elevator to the ninth floor. on this level the restaurants are all open if you come back here during lunchtime there will be a lot more people Yeah, this garden area is still one of the main attractions of the Helix Quarter. Here you can walk down indoor, but there is also an outdoor, I would almost call it a sky park. Here we are at the top floor of the sky garden. Here you have a nice view of the Prom Pong and a soccer area.
So this is a kind of an indoor garden. Perfect place to have your lunch break, read a book if you wish to. Here you have a nice view of the new Amsphere Mall, the BTS line, and this is the Benja Siri Park in front. And if you come here in the evening, you have beautiful lights. And one thing that I like about here is this is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful Starbucks, at least here in Bangkok, and maybe one in the world. It's not as big as the one in Icon Siam, but uh, it has a very garden-esque feeling or park. And from everywhere you have the nice vistas. Just in time for the train to leave. So there we have the brand new Amsphere Mall which opened in the beginning of December. I keep saying it but it's amazing to see how Bangkok is evolving so if you just look at the last 10 years this is the Virage office tower this is new the Amsphere mall is new Vittorio is new Mark is new I think it's Metropolis office tower new UOB tower new Skyview Hotel Hilton Hotel Mercure, all new buildings. Rest, the President Park renovated, brand new Amsphere Mall. This whole area here is completely new. By the way, if you're looking for a nice place for a cocktail, you can come here to the Escape. There's actually a walking bridge that you can take to go there. So uh, let me show you how to get there. this is the perfect garden area if you want to do some work you can get a coffee from Starbucks or not get a coffee you can just sit here this is basically a public park So here you can walk between the two buildings. You, are, you used to be able to look down here, but they covered it with a big sticker of the escape. So here you have to come in the evening Sorry, cop. At the moment it's closed.
So let me bring you down to the shopping area. So the top floors here, it's all restaurants. And if you go down here, you get into the shopping district. This is the lotus pond. The lotus symbolizes purity of the soul surrounded by flickering golden bamboo. Okay. It's a kind of a waterfall feeling. Hey. <laughs> If you come to the Emsway, you will notice there are a lot of these kind of bridges that connect the glass quartier with the helix quartier. station here I'm here at the ground floor now and there is a nice temporarily market here So I hope you enjoyed this update regarding the Helix Quarter. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line, and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh.